Okay, yeah. this is part two of our session and um, I just want you to know that you are loved and supported in all ways. Sometimes I speak fast because uh, it's spirit energy and it, and it all flows and comes through, but also I'm aware of time constraints. <laughs> so um, if we were in person, uh, you know, we would have much more time and so on. So I just want you to know that you're loved and you're not alone and I send you so much love and, um, and understanding and compassion for all that you're going through um, and for you to know that there are people in the world who do care care and I'm going to ask everyone watching the video right now and reading my newsletter that they send you healing love positive prayer and may I say your first name yeah yeah Priya okay so if everyone could send that to Priya because names have a vibration and your own name has your own unique signature in connection with your soul. So we're all going to send love and healing and prayers to you. And we're going to ask that um, the angels surround you and that you're filled with um, a sense of peace and healing as you um, walk through the oceans of your life and um, in the next while when you need support. And asking Archangel Michael to come through and to uplift you and to have your back because I feel that you felt that no one has your back. Um, so that's important for you. Okay. Um, and just wanting you to know that there are people in the world who care. And also I, I feel as an obligation or as a, um, as a responsibility just to let you know that there is a, a, a phone number that you, that you can call at any time. And I'm just going to say this because I feel that uh, a responsibility, not just for yourself, but other people watching. And in Australia, we call that Lifeline. And in Australia, that number is 13114. And that is for crisis support and suicide prevention because uh, that is an absolute you know, essential. Uh, and for anyone in any other country, I'm sure there are other helplines that you can call. Please look it up if needed. Okay. But giving support to Priya and knowing that um, that you are loved and you're cradled. So if you could imagine now I'm having all the ascended masters are gather, gathered around you and angels as in a circle around you and receiving a circle of healing from anyone who'd like to give that. Um, so that will be happening over the course of the next month or so. Um, so know that that will come streaming in at any moment and that when you're sitting in your home and the light comes through your window and uh, you'll have a touch of spirit touching you in your heart and soul and all the prayers of everyone. Okay, so and just again just visualizing all those tears, acknowledging them for they're real and uh, this is you accessing the truth of your feelings and everything that you've been going through and to know that that is okay and that someone is hearing you and uh, listening and feeling it as well. Um, would you like to ask any questions? Okay. Um, I just need so much gratitude for what you did. I feel uh, your gratitude, yes. I, I feel it. I cannot tell you how much this mm -hmm. means to me because I just feel so alone. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I, like I said to you in my email, I, I don't have anyone here, so... Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, no, Thank you so much. absolutely. You feel so alone in such a deep, profound way, and just to know that others who are watching this that are there, they will relate to that. There are so many people have have their own versions of feeling alone in different ways, and that know that your courage to um, speak forward and and with permission to make this video is is showing others um, your bravery. They will be inspired. And you will ignite a spark of inspiration and gratitude in others and send them on their paths of healing as well. So we all help each other. It's all mirroring. And you deserve this. You, you need to know that you deserve and that you're worthy. Um, that's really, really important. Oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome. And... Um, and that the message here through the, with the angels uh, that this is the time that you are going through, but know um, as you as you face these um, sort of dark, uh, 
crevices of your soul, know that light is coming through and that you will overcome these difficulties, that a path will be made for you. There is always a path given and a torch. Um, in your darkest moments, there will always be a spark or a light or a torch. Even if it feels so dim at times, the light is always there. And this is an example of a lantern being offered to you. The, your guides are showing you now is all these lanterns, a path with lanterns, one by one, and just for you to take it step by step, one by one, as you cross the pebble stones of life. Um, and they're saying to find balance and harmony in your life, so if you could just um, think about all the different areas of your life and just find a balance. Um, I know that right now you are consumed with motherhood and also that feeling of entrapment, not only in your relationship, but domestically in your home. Uh, in your area and as an isolation of, of coming here and not knowing anyone and also, um, you know, mothering a child. Um, so just know that that is um, seen and appreciated and you're doing the best that you can and you are doing a great job and you need to give yourself more credit because you are a beautiful mother. And from one mother to an, another mother, and I'm knowing this, I'm sensing this as a mother and as an intuitive at the same time for you to know that and to believe in yourself. I feel that you've lost your sense of faith and belief in yourself and confidence um, with a, a low self-esteem because once you know you had a really successful job, uh, which you mentioned in your email, and, yeah. and you feel now that, you know, and this happens to a lot of women too, with, you know, you suddenly become a mother um, and you're sort of stuck and then, you know, you have these issues in your household and in your relationship and now you're like, now what am I supposed to do? And um, with your tutoring, all your students left, but let me tell you because I also do um, English tutoring as yeah, I've yeah. emailed with you and um, what happens sometimes is they do disappear suddenly. They will disappear. And I always knew when this happened to me, it was always for a reason. And even though you don't understand it at the time sometimes, it becomes clear later. And I believe that they disappeared for you to have that, um, that sense of loss needed to be amplified in order to, for you to heal the deepest wounds of your soul and your heart. Also connected through lifetimes ago, I feel that connection. So I feel that with your husband there is that soulmate connection. Um, but in terms of soulmates can push our buttons and they can feel like our worst enemies because they're pushing something in you and they're holding a mirror up. It's something you don't want to see. Um, and that was uh, one of the things that um, I'm starting, starting to question now yes. because I fell in love with my husband and we, we decided to get married against um, yes. so many odds. Yes. And, um, yeah. I mentioned to you that I moved here for him mm. and um, now it just feels like there is nothing. Mm. Um, yeah. And like you said, I do feel that there's a lot of blame and Mm. Uh, guilt. I feel, did you fight for your marriage? As in, literally, yes, you did. fought because I, I got fought, F O U G H T. So I wrote that down. Yeah, like you fought for your marriage, and now it's like a slap in the face. That's how it feels. Yeah. So, and now for what? All of that fighting that you did. Now, everything happens for a reason, and that was something that needed to happen. You needed to put your foot down with your um, family, is that correct? Um, and yeah, you, right. yeah, I'm feeling you need to put your foot down and make your stance. And now I feel in the in a deep sense of the, um, the sorry, it's a slightly personal but embarrassment. Is that right? I feel a sense of personal shame um, in relation to your family. Okay, and that feels very emotional. Okay, and um, completely want to acknowledge and understand that where this is coming from. That um, and I just want you to know that that's okay. I feel like there's some mother healing. For you not just as a mother to your own child but with your own mother does that make sense um so yeah absolutely absolutely that makes sense. yeah female the that female energy and that link i feel like you feel like that cord has been broken but i'm i'm getting a symbol of it connecting together again and a little spark and that even though it might not be perfect like a broken heart when you put it together it still is essentially um yeah a true heart, if that makes sense. So acknowledging the wound and the crack there um, and sending healing to that. I just want you to feel not so um, alone and, and, and shameful. I feel that that's also part, uh, part, I feel, culture 
coming through um, and uh, as well fa and family culture and dynamics does that make sense um, Absolutely, yeah. yeah and I feel that you need to um, to honor yourself and how far you've come and be proud of the accomplishments that you have made I'm feeling that you feel a feeling uh, hard to explain so um, as in you have had accomplishments and some where you have felt proud but you did not yeah. feel that you received um, the uh, the pride that you were perhaps after. Does that make sense? To receive the uh, recognition yeah. would be the word. So um, I want to now give you like a, we call it etheric, which basically means like invisible spiritual golden medal. And I'm feeling to place it around your neck and where the medal touches your heart. And I feel yeah. that that is what the angels are saying right now, what they want to give to you. Um, and acknowledgement and rewards for your great efforts and to know that it has not gone unfounded and it's all it's not all for nothing um, that you have a long life still ahead of you and many treasures they are saying uh, they like to play with words so they're saying treasures treasures and pleasures <laughs> are, are on the road for you and it's a very happy energy they're sending me um, smiles and happiness and beautiful feelings it's just can you feel, I'm not sure if you can feel that yourself, but this joy and yeah, this, yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah, that's so hard when, beautiful, it. so, um, so yeah, just, that's what they're sending you, literally, I'm smiling from, you know, ear to ear right now, and yeah. as I'm encompassing the energy, and that transmitting it to you, so that you can feel it, and you, you've gone from your darkest hour, and they're saying, um, and your gloomiest day, but on the horizon, there is so much more, and there's so much happiness to be had for you. And to acknowledgement of all the grief with your family and your loss. Okay. I'd like to... Um, Dad comes up now. Okay. So um, he's coming up strongly for you as well. And I feel that um, in a way you feel like you've had a knife through your heart. Does that make sense? Um, that's how they're presenting it to me. And I'm sorry to have that image again come through. But that's how it feels. Um, and I'll... Um, yeah. Uh, and also you feel, and again, I'm, I'm sorry, but this knife imagery comes through. You feel stabbed in the back by somebody too. So let's acknowledge that. Who could that be in your life? Well, that's been, uh, that's happened to me several times. Yeah, okay. So, so what I'd yeah. like to do now is to acknowledge that, that you did not deserve that. You did not deserve that treatment and that... Well, I felt, well, I felt why, because it's mostly... Very, um, someone that's been very close to me and yes. um, I didn't feel that was necessary. So. It's like a betrayal and I'm also yeah. feeling the word, whether it's related to this or something else, but shunned. You've been shunned in your life. Like I'm feeling a shut door and you've been shunned. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay, so yes, I want to acknowledge that as well. It feels like, and, and when that door slammed shut, it hit my heart. I literally have my hand on my heart. And I feel so emotional with that, that that door was shut on my heart. So let's, um, let's talk about that. I'm just going to um, stop the video for a moment and we'll continue with part three in the next video.